Greetings once again, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Reverend Ron L. Spratley, Pastor Emeritus of Covenant of Grace Ministries. We have another prophetic soundbite for you today. In the midst of all of these perilous times that we live in, we want to begin a discussion about the process of entering into Christ's rest. This is going to be part one. Okay, let's go to our scripture for today. It says, come unto me all that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Okay, he didn't say there was not a yoke. Let's understand that he said there is a yoke, but the yoke is easy and the burden is is light. This this is the promise that the Lord has made. So we have to take this yoke upon us. All right. Now let's talk about this process. I want you to understand following Christ is a process, not an event. And a process requires many decisions along the way not just one decision. I want to repeat that. A process requires many decisions along the way and not just one decision. So let's lay out this process. First, step number one, we need to internalize and understand the contents of the Bible promise through study and meditation. All right? Internalize and understand the contents of the promise. And how do we do that? Through study and meditation. That's step one. Number two, claim the promise by faith, right? Claim it by faith and apply it to the right circumstances. A lot of times we claim the promise, but we don't apply the promise correctly to the circumstance that we're dealing with. And secondly, one of our challenges is we bypass step number one. We don't do a good job of studying and meditation. Step two, claim the promise by faith and apply it to life circumstances. Step three, combine patience to undergird your faith to keep the faith door open. So you've got to undergird when you claim this promise, you've got to undergird this promise with faith endurance okay so this promise can take root this seed can take root in you okay once it's take root it can produce fruit all right so we undergird it once we say we believe it we undergird it with patience to keep the faith door working to keep it working all right number four put your soul at rest and trust Yahweh for a victory and resolution to the problem. So this is the four-step process. I want to talk to you briefly about some key principles that can become an issue that will dig up your seed of faith that you planted. Unrest is primarily due to, let's talk about it, unbelief. We didn't spend adequate time with point number one unskilled in the word of righteousness. That again comes back to not spending adequate time in point number one. Deception. All right? The world is full of deception that can undermine your rest. Fear, anxiety can undermine your rest. We have to trust God. Sin and lawlessness. All of these things will disturb your rest. So we've identified one, two, three, four, five of these things that affect your rest. Okay, this is our first teaching on the process of entering into Christ's rest. We need to remember it is a process, 
not an event. May God bless you, keep you, till we have another opportunity to bring you a word once again.